Hello and welcome back to Rhinogol Tutorials. In this uh, tutorial we are going to show you how to make a couple of wedding bands. Now it's wedding bands season so let's go for it. First we will start from the jewelry tab with the ring wizard. From here as you know you can choose any shape or you can go to the advanced settings. So we will go to the advanced settings we will select what profile do we want. On that one I will go for a flat one. And now I will set up the thickness, 1.6 will be OK. And the total width. On, in that case will be 5 millimeters. Finger size, now I'm making the lady one. So I will go for a 12 alright this is okay validate so we already have the first wedding band what I would like to do is just a mid section where we will flow surface to place the stones to do that I will go to the front view from the drawing I will start with a circle grid a snap to start from the center and now we just can leave it here what we will do next is from the right view we will move the point so then we will have this nice shape that we want on that curve to do that the first thing that I need to do is to rebuild the curve I just go to here and I press rebuild I will say that I want just eight points and now once we select the curve and we go to edit points we have eight points that this will be perfect to do what we want to do so I select the points that I want to move one two three and four and from the right view with the grid snap and the gamble on I just move them one and two okay now we will do the same on the other points so we will we go back to the we can do it from that view will be easier so I just select these points and select the ring and I move two steps one two on the other side all right so as you can see now we have this nice shape on this curve and it's symmetrical to the middle of the ring. I press ESC to put the control points out and now we still, because the curve is symmetric, we still can control it with the gamble. From the right view, if I think that this is too much, I just unselect the grid snap and I just make it a bit softer. Like this will be okay. Alright, now we already have the curve that I want for that ring. Now I select the curve, I go to modeling and from the edge tab I press patch. I press OK and we have this nice patch here with our curve. On that ring from the cap tab we will extract a surface. This will be the one that we extract. Always keep in mind to keep this on, copy yes, so we don't explode the, the ring. Enter. So now here we have one surface and we have one patch once we have this we need to go to intersection so now I can get rid of this patch and I can rid of this surface and as you can see we have this nice curve let me hide this one that is the original one and now we have this nice symmetrical curve all along the ring. What I will do now is a dynamic profile from this curve. So I select the curve, so dynamic profile. I'm going to select a flat profile. As you can see, it's upside down. I'm going to turn it 180 degrees. I will keep here already the width for the stones that we want to set. I will set 1.3 stones, 1 point of stones. And here we just 
do it a bit longer and now I will drop it inside okay perfect validate now we just need to do a copy of each of them you know that is as easy as control C control V now as you can see I have two rings now I have here one dynamic profile but if I do control C control V I have two dynamics profiles now from modeling I will go to the boolean operations I will say that I want an intersection between one of these copies that I have for the ring and one of the copies that I have for the dynamic profile let's check it validate okay now let's gonna make the boolean difference so I select the part that I want to keep on this box and the part that I want to take out of this ring let's check it perfect we have one two and three parts I'm gonna hide this curve shift and uh, okay probably if I do it like this you will see the difference what I would like to do here is to smooth these edges so it will look much nicer to do this we go to modeling and we'll use the variable fillet we check which is the radius that we have here it says 0, 0.3 I will go for 0, 0.2 and I select this one, this one, this one, and this one. That will be okay. So we have the nice fillets here. Let me hide this one so I can do the same on that one. Variable fillet on this one and this one and this one and this one all right and now we'll do the same the ones at the very bottom and I will hide this one first I will show the one that I want to do, that is the one in the middle, and I hide these ones. I hide the curve as well. So I will make the variable fillet on this one. This one, this one, this one, and this one. And this one as well. Okay. So now we have a soft edge all around of this section. Hide the curves. You know that if you want to hide all the curves, we can select here, and just here. So that will look very, very nice once it's over. What I will do now is apply stones all around this section for the ladies ring. And I will keep it like this but with different colors for the gens one so what i will do is just select one part go to jewelry and here we have resize ring we say that we want all the ring and instead of 12 i want a 20. validate I will do the same with the middle section, 20 all around the ring, and the same on this other part. Validate. So here now we have the gents ring and the ladies ring. I will just try to put it in the same plane so you can see the difference okay 
Now I will show the curve because I'm interested on the first original curve that we start to make all this nice sweep. Because once I have this curve, I can go to gems and I can start with the gems by curve. I say that I want it here. All right. As you can see, I already have the stone in the right direction because we selected where we want to place it. And now 1.3, I will put it under the surface because I want to set it with prongs. And now let's see how many stones can we fit here. Let's start with 35. Almost there. Now I will use the input just to get it closer. Now, as you can see, here that it can fit another one. So what I do is come on the second tab. And if I press here, it will spread out all the stones, keeping the same distance between all of them. So I press here. And now we have the 42 stones with the same difference between all of them. All right. Now we go to render it and validate. We select the stones from the select editor and we will use the channel cutter now. I have the stones here. I select where I, where I want to make the cutter. It's just here. Let's see how it will look like. And what it will be left is the prongs. So I add the prongs. I say that I want them 0 050. With the shift key press, I move all of them. And now I add a bit of cap. Now, as you can see, the prongs follows all around the ring. So you will be able to set all these 42 stones. And here I press on to make the volume difference. Validate. And this is done. OK. So now, as you can see, the only thing that will be left is first make the cutters. If you still can see the very bottom, we just increase. Now, here we have the end of the cutters validate. We can do the volume difference in the fastest way we just press the part that we want to keep modeling boolean difference and the part that we want to remove so we already have all the holes here and now we just need to boolean union these two parts the prongs with the base all right so now the only thing that will be left is if you want you can apply different materials to ha to see how it looked like here I think I got so we have a nice ring with different options Select the curve and I hide them. Or even if you want to change the color stones, select the stones, gems. Replace this being the stones. 
once we have this will be time for go to the rendering render studio and start to apply the materials that we want I'll say that here here and here I will choose same blast and here and here I will apply rose gold same blast as no polish rose gold so we have these two rings what will be left is just the stones probably here we can go for let's see how does it looks like with diamond color all right I just move it a bit more and we go to render the resolution it's okay environment it's okay and we will go by passes we will select 1000 and just press render so as you can see now the render starts at the very beginning there is a lot of noise in the render but slowly 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 because we set up 1000 passes it will get much better once the render is ready we can add our logo now as you can see I have it here at the very top we can make it a big bigger and we can move it anywhere we want Once we are happy, we can save it and it will be ready. Alright, I hope you enjoy it. Now it's time for you to practice. Thanks for watching.